Today I will present to you a fantastic plugin that with two clicks of a button, you can convert any 2D images for a three-dimensional object that you can control as you wish. Plugin today, you can use it in two ways. First, by duplicate image. The second, via shape. You can download the file by clicking on the link in the description box and after decompressing the file, double-click on the DRFX file, then click Install. Here we have an image of the logo that will be converted into a 3D form. After installing the file, go to Effects, then to Generators, then to Creators Academy, and you will find the plugin here. Drag the plugin onto the timeline, then go to Inspector, then to Generator. Now let's review the plugin's tools, and then I will show you how to use it. Here are two drop-down menus, Controls, and Shapes. The controls menu has four drop-down menus. The setting image menu is for adjusting the logo image settings. And the setting shape menu is for controlling the shape mode, the move menu, and the light menu. Setting image menu. Click on browser to fetch the logo image. Here you can control the image position. Here you can use as many as you want to duplicate your image. Here you can control the distance between images and the standard number is 0 0.001. Menu setting shape. Through it you can control from the shape position. Here you can control the extortion. Here you can choose the color of the shape. Here, the movement of the logo can be completely controlled, as you can see. Here is the lighting control, and you can activate or disable the lighting by clicking here. You can also choose the color of lighting you want from here. Now let's know how the plugin works. The first method, duplicate image. First of all, you must remove the background of the logo image if you have not removed it. This can be done through this free website. After that, Bring the image whose background you removed by clicking Browse. After that, move the shape to the top because we do not need it in this way. After that, change the number of images. As the number of images increases, the thickness of the logo increases. I will choose 100, for example. Then we write the ideal number 0.001 to bring the duplicate images closer together. After that, go to the Move menu and move the logo as you want by using the side moving points. The second method, Shape. First of all, you must convert your image from PNG format to SVG format. And this can be done through this wonderful free website. Download the logo, then delete the shape colors and leave the shape as the main frame of the logo so that you do not have too many shapes. And you can use the plugin for more than 12 shapes. Now about the logo, then upload it. Now we return to DaVinci Resolve and go to the Fusion page. Then go to the Fusion menu at the top. Choose Import, then SVG, then choose the file you converted, then press OK. You will find the shape in the form of a group of nodes. Click on it, and you will find the path node. Throw it in the browser, then select all the shapes, then press the right mouse button, then choose path 1. Then choose export. 
then press OK. Then choose the location in which you will save the shape. After that, go to the editing page, go here and choose Fusion Overlay. Then go to the screen and press the right mouse button and choose Shape 1. Then choose Import, then choose Import Shape, then choose the shape that you exported earlier. Now choose your logo images from here. Here you will find the 3D logo completed. Change the color of the shape to suit the color of your logo. Now move your logo as you see fit. And also control the lighting as it suits the scene. As I said before, you can use up to 12 shapes. You can control each shape separately, as you can see in the shape list. When you do animation as I do now, You can make the animation smooth by going to the Fusion page, then go into the spline at the top, then the plugin node, then going and clicking here, then here, then here so that the animation takes on a smooth motion. And here may be the end of our video for today. You can download the plugin by clicking on the link in the description box. And see you soon.